Hello again, my name is Richard Manns and I've just been using iClone's new prop interaction system to create these cool shots. And I just want to take you behind the scenes and show you how it was all done. So we actually start in Unreal Engine and import a model from Kitbash 3D's Cargo into Unreal Engine and then transfer that model into iClone. And then in iClone I create a plane and this will be the area where I create the crowd. And then I start placing my interactive props around the place. These are mainly from the down the street pack. And you'll see shortly how all these help bring the scene to life. And the characters in this animation are viewed from a distance, so I don't have to stress too much about exact alignments. But it's a good idea to get things roughly right. So like this, for example, I can get in there and I can edit the look at target to better suit the scene. Cool, now let's hide the building so we can better see what's happening and we're going to scatter the crowd now, generate the crowd. So um, I add my actors and my motion director files and then we go pick object and pick the plane we created earlier and then we deploy the actors. And then I create a box to block the area where I don't want the characters to go and I designate it as impassable and then generate my nav mesh. Now I want to make sure my characters keep moving and aren't idle and I play around with the agent radius which is how much the characters will avoid each other and start simulating. And you'll see that they, some characters are starting to interact automatically with the props. Now how this works is there's an adjustable radius around each prop and as the character walks into that area he has a chance of interacting with that prop. And I can also control each character manually by switching to player control and then I just click on the prop and a radial menu will come up and this one just has sit down. And I also use the Xbox controller to move the character around. And I just repeat the process for each character. So this prop's a bi-directional prop. You, can, you have to push the door from this side or pull it from the other. And you can see how this slowly starts to build up the crowd. Um, I prefer this over simulating it because I can get in the head of each character and make sure they don't do anything that looks a bit unnatural. Some props come with quite a few options in their radial menu. Yeah, so the crowd's coming together nicely. And now I attach the doors that I'm going to export to Unreal Engine to these dummy doors. So I attach my door to the dummy prop. Then I select the door and I go in and change the attach to to the access dummy. And then repeat that for all the animated props. And lastly I add this smart accessory. This one comes with a skateboard where the character and the skateboard are animated together. And I just have to blend the clips together. And then once I'm happy with the crowd it's ready to export to Unreal Engine. And so I go into the plugins and use the Unreal Live link. Select transfer, include the motion and bake to sequencer and select the characters and the animated props. Boom, there we have it. All in Unreal Engine. And it's also perfectly aligned with the building. Now I import a, the two bedroom apartment from the Kitbash 3D's cargo into Unreal Engine. Then I scale and move the building into position and do the same with the characters. And there we have it, our miniature crowd interacting with the scene in Unreal Engine. And for the next shot I just repeat the process, import the model from Cargo into Unreal Engine, transfer to iClone, and then start dropping my interactive props around. Uh, here we have an interesting one, a push cart and an interactive table. And then in Motion Director, just individually controlling each character and clicking on the props and walking them around. Then transfer to Unreal Engine using the Live Link plugin. And lastly, I want to put a little crowd on this table here. So I transfer the table to iClone and then uh, add the smart accessory of a BMX bike. Then drop in the interactive props. 
And then I start recording the motions of each character again. This one's quite cool because you can choose from the radial menu, you can choose the reaction to the uh, person on the bike. And then we import it into Unreal Engine using the live link again. Then lastly, I'll use my motion capture suit to animate the main character. And there you have it. Thanks for watching and I hope you saw how the interactive props made the process quite fun. We'll see you next time.